What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on the Get Up, they're going to be talking about the Toronto Raptors president, Mr. Ajuri, and they're going to be talking about Kawhi Leonard. So let's see what let's see what they have to say about those guys. The Raptors president of basketball operations. We know that there have been all these stories about the potential of his departure after they win the championship. He's the one who rolled the dice in a huge way, making the huge trade in the coaching change last year and came up as big as you could possibly come up. For the very latest on his future, the decisions he has made, let's bring Woj back into the conversation. What is the latest on Ujiri and the Raptors? Well, Masai's under contract for at least two more years in Toronto. You know, Washington had, you know, heavily weighed making a run at Ujiri. And, you know, in the end, they didn't call for permission uh, to talk to him about uh, running Washington. They had been very publicly rejected by Tim Connolly, the president in Denver. Washington didn't want to have that happen a second time. And I think ultimately in the end, uh, two factors. One, in the end, I don't think they thought they could get Masai. I think they were uh, perhaps even leery about what it would cost financially to get him. So that they never ultimately made the call. And Tommy Shepard, who's their interim GM, they've been happy with how he has handled um, making changes with process, all the things that maybe weren't there in Washington uh, under the previous regime. And, and they've allowed him here to keep going through the draft and now into free agency, and, and they'll reevaluate it in D.C., uh, how they want to go forward. And, and so, so as far as Mr. Jury, so you talk about getting lucky. Um, so th if there's any time to strike iron while it's hot, this is the time. So if he wants to restructure his contract or go someplace else or demand more money or whatever the situation is, this is the time. I mean, coming off a championship with uh, the, the, the trades that he did, getting rid of DeRozan and picking up Kawhi Leonard, even though you can't go wrong with picking up Kawhi Leonard, but the to, to make the moves that he made and then have it all pay off as good as it can get, that's huge right there. And talk about, like I said, this is the time to strike iron while it's hot. He can make all the, the demands he wants. He can get whatever he wants pretty much for the most part. Even though Rhodes just said that he's under contract for the next two years, if, I, I bet you there might be some other teams that might want to take a chance and maybe buy out that contract or however it works. I don't know how it works with the coaches and contracts and all that. But like I said, this is the time for Mr. Jury to strike iron wire top because I can't picture it getting too much more better than him winning a championship his first year of his first, you know, making moves and all that with the, the Raptors. So I don't know. Let's keep going. Coach, back in Toronto, is there any way to gauge how this impacts Kawhi's upcoming decision? Well, it's certainly a positive. And I think what, what Masai Ujiri has done, which is really remarkable, is build a relationship with Kawhi Leonard. That's not easy to do in less than a year. It took the Spurs years to do that. Now, Kawhi was a much younger player uh, when he came in the league, and he, he's more mature. I, I think it, it probably was a little easier to build a relationship with him. But given that this was a player who was not happy, about being traded there, uh, who really at the very beginning uh, of his arrival in Toronto just saw this as a one-year way station on his way to somewhere else. And what Masai did, what the Raptors organization did, was make a compelling case to him that they were a viable alternative long-term. They're certainly under consideration right now. They managed his health in a great way. They put a team around him that allowed him uh, to, to, win, to win the championship, to be a finals MVP. Uh, they closed a gap that w there was a tremendous gulf uh, from where they started to where they are now on the cusp of July free agency. That's so I think also what it is, is the Toronto Raptors, um, they kind of had nothing to lose. So they've been, they've been making the playoffs and all that, but they kind of have nothing to lose. So you get rid of DeRozan, you pick up Kawhi Leonard, you know he's coming off injuries. So you're like, you know what, we'll let you heal as much as you need to heal. If you, Whenever you need to take some time off, do what you need to do. If you can't go 100%, that's fine. Just do whatever you got to do. We're happy to be here. you're here. We know you're a baller. And if you know, you might be here for one year. If not, we'll just make the best of it. And everything turned out absolutely perfect. Because to tell the truth, I didn't think Kawhi, I thought Kawhi was going to be one and done. He's going to go over there, play, and, you know, figure out where else you want to go, to, to the Clippers or wherever else. But it didn't work out that way. As a matter of fact, it, it, it flipped the script. Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors flipped the script, and they, they put on working and won at all. So, I don't know. Let's keep going.
Danny, Woj, well, well, as always, terrific work. Thank Thanks, you so Jay. much, my friend, and we'll see you again soon. Let me bring Jay Will back into the That's in the business. U Ujiri, Woj. you're talking about. Oh, Woj, Woj. yes, Woj. Ujiri is uh, 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 No question. Woj is the best in the business. Ujiri may have generally managed his way into the Hall of Fame yes. with the stuff he did this year. And But the big question is, where does all of this leave Kawhi Leonard? You know, I, I've been spending time thinking about this, Greeny. I, I, the most important thing for Kawhi is to secure the bag long term. A lot of people say, oh, he can do a one and one And... Coming off the NBA Finals, watching Kevin Durant go down, being there, watching Klay Thompson go down, it, it, it just le And I know people can come up with the alternative narrative, well, he's still going to be one of the best players in the league. Even if he does get hurt, he can still secure the max. I, it, that sounds fine until it's you in that situation. That sounds fine until you have an injury that maybe you potentially couldn't come back from. So I, I think for Kawhi, yes, if you want to stay in Toronto, think about the long-term deal. You can make $50 million more than you could there anywhere else. Or even if you do think about the Clippers, sign that four-year deal. Sign that five-year deal. Secure the bag long-term. It is really so. I mean, I don't know what Williams is talking about here because if there's anybody that knows about being hurt and playing be through being hurt and not playing while being hurt and be being traded and the team not believing in you, it would be Kawhi Leonard because that's everything he just went through with the Spurs. That's why he was. That's why he's with Toronto Raptors right now because of injuries. They're not believing him. They're not giving him time to heal. And he, if anybody knows about playing hurt and not playing and you know losing money or making money he's the one so don't try and have kevin durant or clay thompson and be an example you see Kawhi leonard you can get hurt just like kevin durant or clay what or clay thompson Kawhi leonard's the original one who got hurt he was the first one to get hurt and say you know what i i can't do it spurs you know you guys want me to come back i myself i know my body better than anybody else because i'm me 24 hours a day and i don't feel like i can do it the Spurs didn't believe him. They pushed him. Whoop, they got the boot. Now he's in Toronto, won a championship. So I don't like to hear anybody talk about, you know, oh, Kawhi, you can get hurt and all this. He, he knows. He's the original guy that's been hurt. That's why he's in Toronto. So don't bring up the issue of you can get hurt. You might as well get your money now. I think Kawhi Leonard knows how to handle it. And the way he handled it was absolutely perfect. And he got a ring out of it. So let's continue. A remarkable thing when you think about it. There are so many circumstances that are unprecedented in sports. Based upon the way the NBA structure works, guys are making decisions that are really not based on winning championships and they're not based on money. So wh what exactly is it he wants? He's a Southern California guy. Maybe he wants to go there. Maybe he likes it in Toronto. Do you want to come back and win it again? And what they're willing to do in some cases is for someone to put a quarter of a billion dollars on the table and to willingly just pass on that. No, that's okay. Just you yeah, hold on to that money sense. for the time being. I'm all right. We'll do this. And look, he probably is safe. He probably will make that money somewhere else. But I agree, just on its face, the notion of someone saying, here's an extra 50 million bucks. Here's 200 and something million dollars on the table right now. And here's a pen. The notion of saying, no, I'm going to make another decision than that is unfathomable. And, and, and I... So at, at this point, everybody should know that you don't know what Kawhi Leonard is going to do. You don't know what he's thinking. He's his own man. He does his own thing when he wants to and how he wants to. And he's not going to tell anybody. If you guys don't know that by now, then you're never going to know it. Like I said, Kawhi Leonard does his own thing. He, you can't predict what he's going to do or how he's going to do it. He's just going to do his thing and move on. He may not be motivated by money. He may not be motivated by where he plays. We don't know what his motivation is. And there's, there's no guessing or telling what he's going to do. Kind of like Kevin Durant. You know what Kevin Durant's going to do. You have no clue. And same thing to Kawhi Leonard. You don't know what he's going to do. All you can do is hope that he comes to your team and helps your team get a ring. So let's continue. Look, this is business, too, and sometimes when you're in business screening, it can be a little bit cold-hearted. So let's say that 1% injury does occur to Kawhi. I knock on wood, it doesn't occur to anybody. Of course. But it does occur. If you're the Raptors, you have to really be put in that situation. Okay, like, do we want to offer him this now if we do a one-on-one? -on -one? Like, do we want to offer him the max deal considering this injury did happen? People will look at it realistically and practically and be like, maybe we can't offer that anymore. Here's what I will say. That you know, again, J.C. Williams, I, I think you may be forgotten the situation that Kawhi Leonard just came from. He, if you can, How are you going to tell Kawhi Leonard about he needs to get his money or make moves because if he gets hurt, he may not be able to get that money or things may not work out? Kawhi Leonard is the original guy within the past couple of years that has been hurt. The team didn't believe him, and he, he, he moved on to another spot. 
So do, why do, don't try and tell Kawhi Leonard about being hurt and playing through injuries and get the money while you can and all this other type of hoopla because he's the original guy. Remember, he was hurt before Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson. So again, don't try and explain or try to break down to Kawhi Leonard about you got to get your bag, get your, get the long-term contract because you can get hurt because you know the teams, they may not like you if you get hurt. He knows already. So let's continue. If, if his primary objective is to win another championship, and at, look, he's got two of them and two finals MVPs, and you, you're allowed to make your decisions based on whatever criteria you like. If his primary objective is to win another championship, I think his best chance to do it is Toronto. in Toronto. I agree. Right? You stay in the Eastern Conference. The entire team comes back together again. We think that there's a lot of more movement coming on in the West. Mm -hmm. You've proven you can do it there. I, I think that is probably his best course of action. I know the Clippers could be real good if they get him, but that's a little jumbled over there. I think if winning is his first objective, I think Toronto is the place. It, the question is, is that the long-term place for Kawhi, or does Kawhi inevitably want to get back to the Clippers? I, I just don't see that one-year deal, that one-on-one -on -one deal, I, I don't like that. It gives me a weird feeling coming off what happened in NBA. Finals. Well, nobody cares what you think, Williams. But anyways, though, so it's like the same thing with um, Kawhi Leonard. So he, he just made a huge run, won a championship, good to go. He might want to stay there because nothing's really going to change. And it's going to be the same thing with uh, Jimmy Butler. So Jimmy Butler and the 76ers, they made a deep run, and they almost beat the Toronto Raptors, but they just couldn't pull off because of Kawhi. So I'm thinking Jimmy Butler should probably stay in Philadelphia because with Embiid and Ben Simmons, if they have a good summer, they work on their game, they can make another run. So Jimmy Butler should stay with the Philadelphia 76ers, just like I'm thinking maybe Kawhi Leonard should probably stay with the Toronto Raptors because if they have the whole team, the same team coming back, they're playing in the easy East, you know, I, I think they could probably run it again. They can probably run again. And for Kawhi to go to the Clippers, you don't you don't quite know what's going to happen there. You don't know what's going to happen there. You don't know what's going to happen with any other team. But you do know what you have in Toronto. So sign another one-year contract or whatever it is, a short amount of time, and try, see if you can run it back. See if you can run it back. But I don't know. Let's keep going. But I, my, if I had to bet on it right now, I would bet that's what he's going to do. And I believe so. God bless him. He's going to do. He's put himself in, in a position. Wow. He can do whatever he wants. I agree. It's not even a bag. It's like a. It's a. It's luggage. He's going to secure the suitcase. <laughs> in this case, we're talking about a whole.